Downrigging. This is downrigging in style. Big graphs, 10 rod threads. Not us. Some extra things, some extra complexities. It comes to small boat rigging. We go 40 feet back. Fishing. 30 feet down, water's pretty warm for June, but because it's June, the thermocline shouldn't be too far down yet, so those 40, 50 plus foot depth, are, we shouldn't have to worry about that yet today. Keep a close eye on the graph, see what happens. 30 foot's usually a pretty safe bet. Yeah, it's a nice beach, man. It's a nice beach, yeah. I brought my kids here. Yeah. Yes, I got sir. fishing. one and I'm excited about this this is on something that I've been wanting to try in this area for a while finally got around to doing it and that did not take long for that to work we got a nice lake trout here that's on something that uh, most Great Lakes guys know very well called spinning glow nice small lake trout Gonna get him unhooked and he's gonna go back. So to anyone that's never fished with a spinning glow, it's very, very simple. Small piece of foam with some mylar wings and they just come unrigged. So all you have to do is uh, set up a few beads. I like to keep the color matched. And just run a good quality treble. That's a must add uh, treble. Just run that on length of mono behind the lake troll. And that's just a homemade lake troll. I, I like to color match it, the beads and the blades, and uh, so far it's working. Not as dark as the last one. Barely hooked. Can't believe I didn't lose that one. That'll go about 20 inches, two and a half pounds, pretty typical for this area. Beautiful fish. Give them a torpedo back down to that nice cold water. hit as it was going up. Popped it out of the release and he wasn't on. Whenever I think about switching this orange, I always end up getting the fish right before I'm ready to commit the switch. This 
choked. A beautiful choke, 16, 17 incher. We don't live in the land of 30 pound lake trout around here, unfortunately. So fish like that are very common. But uh, we adjust for that in the type of gear we use too, right? They're still very, uh, very fun fish to catch. Orange spin and glow, it's doing it. Like I said, I haven't really spent too much time with these yet. This is really the first day I've ever tried them on these lakes. And uh, not only are they working very well, but the hookup ratio seems really good running these, uh, these Mustad number six trebles. If you pan the camera over that way, I'd say that's a, a thunderstorm that's approaching. And anyone who's spent any time fishing before a storm, things tend to get hot and heavy for a short amount of time and that's probably the shortest time we've spent between bites and that storm may be just about here so the old adage holds true yet again the winds laying down too that's generally a sign I think we're gonna head back since you know we only have eight, eight horsepower of muscle here, we're going to try to beat the storm and uh, just set up in an area closer to the launch just so we can, uh, if it ends up getting real nasty, we can just go sit in the truck as opposed to having to take refuge in the bush somewhere. So here we go. Enjoy the scenery. Lucky? I am. Lucky as in, do you think we're going to miss that storm? Oh, so I don't think we stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> we can't overrun it, that's for sure. Not with an eight horse. Damn it, I'll try. <laughs> oh, when you feel that like 20 degree temperature drop there when it hits you in the face, that's when you know you're getting it. Oh, just going to drop it down. Yeah, he's on there. Now, this point is loaded with small guy, unfortunately. I was hoping that was going to work. Put out a flat line. It's getting to be the evening now. It's not too big, I don't think. Oh, that's not a bad leg show at all. Centimeters, not a keeper, but a nice trout. One of the bigger ones. Yep. By far the biggest fish of the day. That was only in about 22 feet of water. I had the, the ball down about 18 feet real close to bottom. Oh, I got him hooked weird, that's all. <laughs> Still a nice trout. Sometimes that happens. So that's the sign. I had just brought that rigger up to 16 feet down over about 22 feet of water way shallower than any any depth we fished today and the fish before that was on a flat line so I guess that's a pretty clear message to what we should be doing 47 incher going back maybe it's a speck Spinning glow gave up after about 15 fish. 
homebound. Hey, Ruger. Hey, buddy. 